What's up guys? Today we're going to talk about one of my favorite things, fire. No, no magic tricks. So fire has played a pivotal role in human history. Um, you know, it's allowed us to cook food, um, especially meats that allowed us to develop our brains, allowed us to fend off predator, keep ourselves warm, and even just a, a center, center point to gather around and tell stories and sing songs and really just and grow as a, a human uh, society. And so fire is super important even today. Um, even in today's world where we have like, you know, gas, electric, um, and fire literally at the flick of our fingers um, with lighters, uh, it's, it just goes to show you it hasn't died out. It's not going to die out. So fire is extremely important. Um, so what I want to show you today is really a way for you to have that f fire source in an emergency or camping situation where, you know, maybe it's not easy or you don't have the, the resources to build a fire. It might be wet wood, not enough wood. Um, you know, so just having something where you can quickly cook your food or stay warm uh, in a pinch. All right, let's talk about what you're going to need to build this stove. So what you're going to need is a one quart unused empty paint can. Uh, you don't want any paint or anything in it because you don't want to, you, when you start burning this, you don't want to have all these toxins coming off and uh, inhaling those. So you want it unused. You're going to need a roll of toilet paper. Uh, in terms of size, try to keep it as a normal roll. Um, you know, if toilet paper math was a school subject, I would probably flunk because it makes no sense. But stay away from like the mega rolls and things like that. Um, honestly, probably one of those like super cheap one ply scotch paper is uh, just a, good enough because really you're not burning it. It's going to act as basically a wick. And then you're going to need a fuel source. Uh, so you can go into different sort of alcohols. Um, rubbing alcohol is going to work just fine. The higher percentage of isopropyl, isopropyl, propyl, um, the higher percentage is going to be a cleaner burning fuel. Um, so like 90%, this is 70 and it can, you can kind of see when you're burning it, some like black soot coming off. Um, so just something to keep in mind. If this is something that you're going to use as like an emergency heat source to store in your house or apartment if um, in the winter when heat or electricity goes out, you're still going to want some sort of ventilation, you know, cracked window or something like that. But just keep that in mind. If this is going to be an indoor emergency source, you want to get as high percentage of alcohol as possible. Um, and then the other, I mean, for that far end of the spectrum, 100% denatured alcohol, you can pick this up at hardware stores, Lowe's, Home Depot, whatever. And this is 100% alcohol, super clean burning. Um, so that's what I'm going to use today. And that is it. So let's go into the steps to actually go through it. All right. So bear with me with this camera angle. I think, uh, I think this is the best way to do it. So first step is you're going to take your toilet paper and you're going to pull and remove the cardboard roll. So it should be fairly easy. Just some, uh, like adhesive in on the one side. So rip that out and that's gonna allow you to smush this up. You're gonna open up here and you're gonna squeeze and shove this bad boy in into the can. And this is why you don't really need a mega roll because otherwise you're gonna have to waste and remove some TP. So that's it. And then you just add in your alcohol. So I'm going to open this bad boy up. It takes a little bit of time to let it just go in and soak up. So go slow. You don't want it overflowing. Again, this is alcohol. There are some fumes. It's fairly clean, but you're going to want to have some sort of ventilation. So you see it's soaking it right up. So what's going to happen is the toilet paper is going to act as a wick. So you're actually not going to be burning this alcohol. 
or you're not gonna be burning the toilet paper, you're gonna be burning just the alcohol. And depending on how, what percentage of alcohol you're gonna have or use, just watch out. Like I said, it's gonna be like a sterno, and if you've ever seen a sterno burn, sometimes you don't see the flame, but it's still there. So just before you grab this, or before you, you know, use it or pick it up afterwards, just make sure that there's no, no fire. And so the cool thing about this is if you do have some left over, you can store it, save it, and use it later. So that's it, we're done. All right, so like I said, ventilation, I have the garage door open. Obviously, if you're trying to do, um, use this for heat, uh, it seems counterintuitive, but just remember, any fuel that burns is gonna give off carbon monoxide, and that can kill you. So you're gonna wanna have a cracked window or something. <clears throat> um, very, very important, can't stress that enough. But let's uh, light this bad boy up. There it is. So you can't see the flame, but it is giving off heat. So maybe you can see the, nope, can't really see the uh, little mirage looking things. But so that is it. So it's giving off a pretty good amount of heat, um, enough to where, I mean, at five seconds, it starts to really uh, feel it on my hands. So you can use it for heat source. Uh, you can kind of see the flame now. If you want to cook, which we are going to about to do right now, um, you are going to need some sort of stove top. So this is off of a rocket stove. And you want to remember to have, before lighting this thing on fire, please, please have it on a stable, some sort of stable surface so it doesn't tip over. Um, so what we're going to do is run a little test, and I have three cups of water in here. You want to keep it covered, so trap all as much heat in as you can. And uh, I'm going to start a timer so we can see exactly how long it takes for three cups of water to boil. Right, so we are f about five and a half minutes in. Let's just take a peek. As you can see, five minutes in, we're already, woo, back up a little bit. We're already starting to uh, boil in there. <clears throat> Not a rolling boil quite yet, but it's, it's putting off some heat. Okay, seven minutes in, and uh, as you can see, it's already steaming and got a rolling boil. So that is it guys. I appreciate your time watching. Uh, you know, if you want to make sure you don't miss any of the upcoming videos, make sure you hit the subscribe, subscribe button. And uh, if there's anything in particular that you want to know more about or see a video on, make sure to drop a comment below and I'll be sure to add it to the list of videos. Thank you very much guys. Have a great day.